The fresh breeze contemplates by the harbor side. Migratory birds flit through the forest trees. Golden sunlight shines on the gates of time. Leaping over mysterious legends. Jinmen, beautiful, appealing in every sense. Gate of the Spirit, Homeland of Culture. Introduction to Jinmen Tourism. Jinmen, whose characters mean Golden Gate, looks across the sea to the Chinese city of Xiamen. The island of Jinmen measures 22 kilometers east to west and 15 kilometers north to south. It covers an area of 134 square kilometers. Mount Taiwu forms the backbone of Jinmen. Because from the sea, Mount Taiwu looks like a sleeping Buddha, Jinmen has received the nickname of Realm of the Buddhas. Jinmen's recorded history began 1600 years ago, when Jin Dynasty refugees from barbarian invasions settled on this island. Formal development and the appointment of government officials began during the Tang Dynasty. The island's first magistrate in charge of horse pastures, Chan Yuan, is honored as a demigod for his role in settling the island. Jinmen has had a reputation as a center of learning in the sea, and the great Confucian philosopher Zhu Xi established the Yan'an Academy and lectured there. Jinmen produced 43 Jinshu scholars during the Song, Ming, and Qing dynasties, establishing a name for erudition. Nowhere do flowers fail to bloom. Never does it fail to produce great scholars. This describes Jinmen's glorious literary tradition. Pirates and Japanese raiders infested the seas off southeastern China during early Ming dynasty times. Because of the island's strategic importance, the imperial court rebuilt the town walls and established a defense headquarters. Secure as if surrounded by a molten gold moat, a fortress guarding the gates of the sea, Jinmen's role as an offshore stronghold inspired its name, which means Golden Gate. Jinmen was guarded by a number of worthy generals during the Ming and Qing dynasties. Among the most notable were the heroic Yu Dayo, who was honored by a stone inscription stating, he steadfastly guarded the Xu River mouth and Qiu Liangong, who wiped out the pirates and served as naval commander of the central China coast. Zheng Chenggong used Jinmen as a base from which to oppose the Qing dynasty and attempt to restore the Ming. His forces occupied Jinmen for 15 years, leaving many marks on the island. Historical events and grievances have been washed away by the churning waves of time, and only legends and old relics still remain. Jinmen possesses golden sunshine, thick green forests, pure white sand beaches, a long historical legacy, a generous smattering of historical sites, and recent wartime memories. Just about everything here has some fascinating story to tell. Time has a slow and deliberate pace on Jinmen. It takes less than 10 minutes to drive from the old town's Ming Dynasty stone paved streets to the bustling modern Jincheng district. But this brief trip represents 600 years of history. Touring the villages and hamlets of Jinmen is a profound historical and cultural journey. Capturing the essence of island life the distinctive traditional Minnan houses and Western-style buildings are among Jinmen's most valuable cultural assets.
Historic houses can be seen nearly everywhere in Jinmen villages. Jushan village has more than 650 years of history. Shuito village has large manor 18 roof beam houses dating back to the Chenlong period as well as exotic western style houses dating back nearly a century. Traditional Minnan houses at Shanho village arranged in a chessboard pattern date back to the Guangxu period. Mofan Street in the Jincheng district features 32 red brick shop buildings with arched doorways. In addition, the villages of Guningtou, Ozuo, Chonglin, and Pubian contain some of the best preserved traditional Minnan houses anywhere in the world. Jinmen's exquisite Minnan style houses range in size from houses with two or four rooms to the sides of the central hall to stately large houses with two or three rows of rooms and magnificent mansions with six walkways. Traditional Jinmen houses are warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Their arrangement reflects Confucian notions about social role and status. Traditional Jinmen buildings are richly decorated. Houses swallowtail and horseback roof ridges add elegant curves to the Jinmen skyline. Superbly carved wood, stone, brick, ceramics, cut outside, Jiaozhu ceramics, and paintings adorn Jinmen homes and express the aesthetics of the local people. The auspicious rooftop statuary, incense censers, eight trigram symbols, Jin Sha Fu, reversing mirrors, and auspicious stone tablets erected at corners, all reveal the cautious, defensive attitude of the local villagers. Jinmen is home to countless historical sites. There are 43 officially recognized sites on one tiny island alone. Visiting Jinmen is like touring a museum of history. The Class I historical site, Chiu Langgong's Memorial to His Mother's Virtue, is located in Jincheng Town. The Class II historical site, Memorial to Chen Zhen, is located in Yangzai Village. The Class III historical site, Hanying Yungan Tablet is located in Gugang Village. The Class II historical site, Adorned Platform Pagoda, which commemorates the glorious achievements of local residents, is located in Jinmencheng. Testifying to the local people's strong family ties, there are more than 160 ancestral shrines for families with different surnames. Jinmen has the country's highest density of Ming and Qing dynasty graves. The stone statues, stone tigers, stone rams, and stone horses adorning these graves bear witness to local residents' achievements in government service. You'll certainly not miss the amazing Wind Lion God when in Jinmen. The Wind Lion God is the Jinmen deity in charge of preventing blowing sand and erosion. Early day Jinmen residents combined the regal lion with the god of the wind to create this master of the wind and preserver of peace. The wind lion god has long helped islanders survive and pursue their livelihoods. The wind lion god is part of people's lives here and symbolizes the stubborn, unyielding spirit of Jinmen natives. Granite carvings and clay sculptures portray the wind lion god in human form, holding a badge of authority, a bow and arrow, a commanding general seal, an embroidered ball, ancient coins, or a headband. The many appealingly human forms of this deity make his statues impressive and imposing.
when heartless war raged between China and Taiwan, the beautiful island of Jinmen bore the bitter fruits of the Cross Straits confrontation. The name's Guningto campaign, the 823 artillery battle, and the Dadan and Ardan campaigns will eternally record the savage events that took place here. Old buildings still bearing the scars of artillery fire and the many cleverly constructed tunnels, hospitals, and observation posts here never fail to make visitors sigh and reflect on the bitter sufferings of yesteryear. The scars of war hint at the heavy price that had to be paid. Nevertheless, Jinmen bears no grudge for the past and has in fact risen from the ashes like a phoenix. Peaceful relations between Taiwan and China have begun at Jinmen, where the three small links between the island and Xiamen have started to chip away at the barrier dividing the two sides of the Taiwan Straits. Historical enmities have turned into dust and blown away. We sincerely hope that people will fight no more and all the spirits of warriors will rest in peace amidst the sound of the waves. Jinmen is rich in splendid natural scenery. It's a fine place for riding a bike under the leafy shade and enjoying the warm sunshine and gentle breeze. You can relax on the golden sand beaches and gaze at the hazy sea and sky, forgetting all your cares. You can visit Tai Lake, Tzu Lake, Gu Gang Lake, or Shuangli Lake and watch the migratory birds leaving your busy everyday life behind you. You can climb Mount Taiwu and visit Haiyin Temple. Gazing at the enigmatic hills you will see a landscape out of an old Chinese painting. You can take a ferry to Lieyu Island. Its sublime tranquility will make you feel you have stumbled upon some hidden Shangri-La. Though small, Jinmen has its own distinctive local products, including gaoliang liquor, gong candy, and kitchen knives. Many are the tourists who bring back these specialties with them. Jinmen gaoliang liquor has earned a fine reputation worldwide. Made from Jinmen's pure water and plump gaoliang sorghum, this mellow, fragrant, yet potent liquor is made under the careful supervision of master craftsmen. Crispy Gong Candy was made as early as the Ming Dynasty, and it soon became a popular sweet accompaniment to tea. It's hard to resist holding it in your mouth to savor its delightful taste. The artillery shells that once whistled through the skies above Jinmen supply the steel used to make the island's keen kitchen knives. An accident of history, the knives are also a testimonial to the islanders' fine craftsmanship. Jinmen ceramics gleam as if oiled. Their exquisite shapes and delicate painting reveal the handcrafted artistry of the islanders.
The distinctive local snack foods sold at stands along Jinmen streets and lanes are delicious and inviting. After eating your fill of good food, enjoy the hospitality of the local people. The inhabitants of Jinmen try to make sure that all visitors go away satisfied. Draw back Jinmen's veil of mystery. Jinmen offers superbly preserved village houses, historical sites evoking the distant past, moving relics of recent battles, and gleaming mountains and lakes. There are few places in the world that possess such a wonderful range of attractions. Beautiful Jinmen invites you to enter its beauty and warmth from different angles, in different moods. Morning clouds and evening sunsets, white sand and clear sky. Old villages stand amidst the wind. People linger in the alleys and lanes. The golden sunshine lights up the countryside. Visit Jinmen and experience its subtle romantic beauty. Jinmen will become even more beautiful because of you. We cordially invite you to Jinmen. Thank you.